In this video, I'm going to show you how to verify your domains in the Facebook Business Manager. So with Apple's upcoming privacy changes as part of iOS 14, or maybe they've already rolled out depending on when you've watched this video, Facebook have said that it's really important that we go and verify all of our domains inside Business Manager to make sure that we don't run into any issues there. So this is something that is absolute must do if you're running ads on Facebook at this point. And I'm going to show you how to do it even if you aren't comfortable with tech and modifying code and all that kind of stuff. It's really simple to do. So let's jump in and do it. But before we do, please, if you enjoy the video, all that I ask is that you tap that like button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. It tells me what kind of videos you like, so I know to create more like this. And if you wanna hear from me, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit that little bell to get notified whenever I release a new video. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is head on over to Facebook Business Manager. So to get to Business Manager, you simply go to business.facebook.com and you should see a screen like this. If you don't have a Business Manager account yet, then you will need to go to business.facebook.com and sign up for a free Facebook Business Manager account. I've got a video on setting up Business Manager that I'll link to now. So you can click that and set it up and then come back to this video and verify your domains. Okay. So once you're inside the business manager, all you want to do is click on business settings down in the bottom left corner. All right, so once you are on the business settings screen, then all you need to do is click brand safety and click on domains. All right, so once you click on domains, you will see something like this and it says that I don't have any domains yet. So I'm going to click add and we just want to type in the name of the domain that you want to verify. So don't put the HTTP or the www. So I'm just going to put andrewhubbard.co and click add domain. There we go, boom. So you can see here it's on the left, andrewhubbard.co and it says verification pending. Now, if you already had some domains listed and you came here to add the new domain, you just click add right here, okay? So once you've got the domain here, you need to verify it. Now there are three different options to verify your domain. Two of them we don't really care about at this point. They are DNS verification and HTML file upload. Those are a bit more technical and a bit more complex. Um, and so unless you're comfortable with doing DNS verification or uploading HTML files to your website, you can ignore those. And we're just going to click on meta tag verification. This one's quick, it's really easy to do, and it gets the job done, which is the most important thing. So simple steps to verify your domain using meta tag verification. You simply grab this code here. So it says add this meta tag to the head section. And if we click on the bold text, it will copy it to the clipboard for us. So we just copy that. The next step is to go over to your WordPress website and we're going to install a plugin. Now, if you're not on WordPress, if you're on something like Squarespace or a different hosting platform, simply go to their help documentation and search for how to add code to the head of your website. So how to add code to head. All of those uh, builders will allow you to add code to the head of your website. You just need to find out how they do it and paste this code in there. But for WordPress, we're going to go here and we're going to go to plugins and click add new. We're going to install a new plugin. We're going to search plugins and type insert header. Click enter. Now the plugin that I recommend and that I use is called Insert Headers and Footers. It's free, it's made by a reliable company, WP Beginner, and it's updated regularly. So that's about as much as we can ask for. So click Install Now. Once the plugin is installed, simply click the blue Activate button to activate the plugin. And then once the plugin is activated, all we need to do is paste in our head code. So to do that, go to Settings, and then click on Insert Headers and Footers. And then you can see here, it says scripts in header, and we just paste in our meta tag. Scroll down to the bottom, click save. Once that is saved, we're going to go to the website and just check that that is working. So I'm going to click on here and go view site. Now, once you're on the website, if you right click or uh, the equivalent on a Mac, click view page source. Now we're going to press command F or control F if you're on Windows to search the page. And I'm going to again paste in my meta tag and see if it's on the page. And you can see here, there it is right there. So it says Facebook domain verification and content and that code matches what's back here in the business manager. So now I know that the code is actually on my page. That's good news. If you have any caching plugins on your website, just go and click 
to clear the cache. So I've got WP Rocket and I'm going to click here and go clear cache. I don't know why I said cache then. I think I was trying to sound more, you know, like the American term. I don't know. We say cache. There's no right answer. Uh, anyway, so I've just cleared the cache. Uh, now, if I hold shift and click refresh on my page, that brings in a new version of the page without using the cache as well. So it's important, just hold shift, click on refresh, and make sure you use the newest version of the page. Now what we need to do is go back to business settings, and the final step here is just to verify the domain. So make sure you're still on the meta tag verification tab and click the green verify button. You can see now it's giving me a green tick and it says andrewhubbard.co is verified. That's it, all done, my domain's verified, I don't need to do anything else. Now, if you got a message that said that it failed, don't worry, all you need to do is wait an hour or two, maybe a little bit longer, come back, go to the meta tag verification tab again, make sure you're not on one of these other tabs and click verify. Sometimes it takes a few hours for Facebook to pick it up and recognize the meta tag on your website. So just give it some time, come back, click verify and you should be all good. So that's it. You've now verified your domain inside the Facebook Business Manager. If you have multiple domains, it is really important that you go and verify all of them. So just come back in here, click on add again, add the next domain that you want to verify and go ahead and follow that same process for each of your domains. All right, if you enjoyed this video again, please just hit the like button. It really does help me. I know it sounds tiny, but it does make a big difference and I really, really do appreciate it. If you want to hear more from me, click subscribe, click the bell to make sure you get notified whenever I release a new video or whenever I go live on YouTube just for my subscribers. Those live videos don't stay up on my channel. I remove them so only my subscribers actually see them because they get notified about those lives. But if you're not subscribed, you'll never see them. All right, thank you for watching. I appreciate you taking the time and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.